I hope all are fine. Be safe, please. Today we are going to discuss regarding the signs and symptoms of tetanus. Before going to the signs and symptoms, you just understand that tetanus is mainly divided into four that are generalized tetanus, local tetanus, cephalic tetanus, and neonatal tetanus. Once again, I will repeat generalized tetanus, local tetanus, cephalic tetanus, and neonatal tetanus, each having their own signs and symptoms. First, I will discuss the signs and symptoms of generalized tetanus. First, I will discuss the signs and symptoms of generalized tetanus. Generalized tetanus having its own signs and symptoms like lockjaw, lockjaw in the sense spasm will occur to the jaw region that is also called lock jaw then facial spasm all the fish facial muscles having the spasm all the face having the spasm that is facial spasm then stiffness of neck stiffness of neck then difficulty in swallowing difficulty in swallowing then increased temperature increased blood pressure sweating as well as spasm all over the body that are the signs and symptoms of generalized tetanus then neonatal tetanus neonatal tetanus having the signs and symptoms same like generalized generalized tetanus then why we will call it as neonatal tetanus in the sense the neonatal tetanus will occur to a particular age group that is mainly the neonates. I think you people know neonates. Then, then we have cephalic tetanus. Cephalic tetanus, the spasm is limited to the muscle and nerves. In the cephalic tetanus, spasm is limited to the muscle and nerves. Then we have trauma of head area, trauma of head area, skull injury, then skull injury as well as the skull fracture then laceration skull, fracture in the sense you people know i think the breaking of bones that is nothing but the fracture skull bones are going to be broke that is nothing but skull fracture then laceration eye injury then we have otitis media otitis media in the sense the infection or inflammation will occur to the Middle ear, that is nothing but otitis media, then dental extraction, then we have facial paralysis. These are the signs and symptoms of cephalic tetanus. Then we have local, that is the mus muscle contraction will occur, local, only local areas that are nothing but the signs and symptoms of local tetanus. I think you people understood the class. If you understood, please like the channel, subscribe it and share it. Thank you. Thank you all.